you are listening to Food Delight on VOV 24-7, the show for all you foodies out there. Have you ever dreamed of traveling around the world to taste dishes from different countries? It seems a little bit difficult, right? How about if we introduce you to the recipes from different countries instead? Let's visit a beautiful country in West Asia. Palestine and learn to cook its traditional dish, makluba, with Salim Hamad, a Palestinian man who was working as a chef before he came to Vietnam. Hi, Salim. Welcome to our weekly show, Food Delight. First of all, what is the most popular dish in Palestine that every Palestinian can cook and eat? I'm proud that we have some dishes which. When people look at it, they remember and they know. Yeah, it's Palestinian. So we have also one dish. We call it makluba, upside down. So makluba, it's a, a Palestinian dish which we use rice, veggies, and uh, chicken or lamb or beef. Like it depends. What it depends of your flavor. Uh, it's flexible dish. We can use different kind of ingredients. And what is special about makluba? The most important or the most special thing about this dish is the way how we set up、uh, the ingredients inside for like rice cooker. For like, rice cooker, so first after we we fry some veggie like、uh, eggplant, cauliflower, potato, carrot, or whatever you like. You know some of like this kind of veggie. You know, so we fry it half time, not like like. Not for like we just for not fully cook, so it's just for three to three minutes, you know. Then we put it first. Then we put the meat. The meat already boiled with the spicy and olive oil. Of course, we we use some Arabic special spices, which is called it's a spicy for chicken. Which we have spicy for lamb, spicy for for beef. We use black pepper for sure. We use the wahoi. We call it like seven spices, like mix. So it's a powder. So we use it with the meat, you know, to to add more flavor and gonna be more tasty. We use、uh, some leaves to kill the smell of the meat. As you said, making makluba requires several steps, including pre-cooking and pre-seasoning the meat and vegetables before layering everything in the pot. Right? Typically, vegetables are fried before layering. So we set up veggies, then the meat, then the rice. Okay, then we add the water. The water, this water is like、uh, it's, it's the chicken boiled water. So we boil it for like around 30 to 40 minutes. So we take this water; it's very tasty and sweet already. So we add it top. You know, it's like normal when you cook the rice, but we make it less than usual because you know there is some ingredients which is not rice only, right? And then we just keep it to、uh, leave it to cook for 10 to 15 minutes, like normal rice, okay? And then when we want to serve the, this dish, we make it upside down. So the vigi, the meat is gonna be from up, and the rice from down. So the way it looks like a gato, like cake, a cake, and it's very delicious, healthy because it have different ingredients: vigis, rice, and meat. Yummy! I really want to try to make makluba myself at home. Do you often make makluba in Vietnam? I invite many of my Vietnamese friends to try this dish. Everybody love it, and they like it. They, they like the way how to serve it. They like the taste of it. You know, you know. Sometimes Vietnamese people not easy for them to eat the foreigner dishes, especially which is come from Middle East or like Indian food, which is have a, real, a lot of hard smell. Palestine, we use less spices than Indian, of course. If I can't find all the Arabic spices to make makluba, can I use some Vietnamese spices instead? As a Salim living in Vietnam after ten years, I already understood how Vietnamese like to eat. You know, so even sometimes I use nuk mam like fish sauce, <laughs> which is like famous sauce in Vietnam, to add a Vietnamese flavor to my dish.、Mm. Makes Vietnamese feel that it's a close thing for them. It's like. Well, it's not Vietnamese food, but it's like it's easy to eat. It's like they feel it's close thing for them. So because I understood what Vietnamese like, so I could add this one. It's like wow, the food became <laughs> really delicious, you know.、Yes. Thank you very much, Salim, for your creative makluba recipe. I will definitely try to cook makluba one day. 
We hope you can share more recipes of Palestinian food on another VOV 24/7 Food Delight. And now goodbye. <laughs>